Hey YouTubers! Oh yeah, we're off for the last evening walk. We love this time of day. And Skylar does. And of course Luna. So just popping her into a walking mert vest. Pop her in there. So quick this is. Up you go. Good girl. There you are. And she's in. Hang on, this one sticks a bit, sometimes, like now, like, it would play up now, wouldn't it? Flipping thing, oh god, they are seen, it's only that one, but you know, you do get this, right, and she's in. You're timing me. Yeah, it isn't even a minute. Right, before we go off on the walk, bring the dogs out and do the gardening. And you know what? They love it. They find it so peaceful, and me. So we come out here. Here's the garden. This is actually a budget garden. So here's a little tip for you. Go down to your local stores, look for some that are a bit droopy, you get them a heck of a lot cheaper. When you go home, give them a good water with some miracle grow or fish and bone meal, and they pop up like that. Would you believe? These pansies, ha, huh, you won't believe it, they were like 50 pence a tray. Look at them, look at that. And the lobelia, marigolds, everything. So, just the tip of the day that was. Keep on watching, don't go away. We're going off for the walk. Come here, Luna. Come here. Come on. I've got Luna on a lead because she keeps getting caught by the wheelchair. And we don't want her disappearing into one, do we, if we can help it? As you can see, when you've got two dogs, one in a wheelchair, it can get a little difficult. She is breaking her neck to get up to the cameraman. Because she, she wants to be first, see? But so does Skylar. So this is what you get. Look. <laughs> see? <laughs> anyway, they're enjoying themselves. So, what we're going to talk about tonight? Well, first of all, we're going to talk about the beautiful weather we're having. Don't forget, though, don't take your dogs out when it's too hot. This is why we come out around now, half past six, seven, because it's just cooling down a bit, but still warm enough to wear a T-shirt. So, never forget, you don't really want to take your dogs out at 21, 22 because it's not good for them. Here's old Skylar coming along, look. Do you know this dog? This dog is the, one of the happiest dogs ever, even though she's been through everything what she's been through. I'm wearing a wireless mic. You can hardly see it, you can only see that bit. I've got the rest hidden. Reason for that, so, I want you to hear me, because sometimes some of the um, videos, you can't sort of hear what I'm saying much, or just a mumbling. Well, that's no good. So I've got my wireless mic on now. I'll tell you what, they don't cost too much and they're, they're brilliant. So if you're a YouTuber, get yourself a wireless mic. You can just walk along and natter off to yourself. And of course, it all comes out lovely onto the video. Just let her have a sniff. Never, never jerk your dog away from where she's sniffing because uh, this is good for their psychological well-being. Ah, oh, guess what? Talking about that, you never believe it. I got the paper yesterday. And on the front page, oh, I couldn't believe this, but there again, yeah, I suppose, 
Um, dogs, take your dog on holiday. Dogs need a holiday too, because it's a different environment. They meet different people. You can go where you like, up the mountains, down the seaside, and um, they just they need a different place, just like we do. So you want an holiday anyway, but who'd have ever thought that dogs need holidays? Well, you wouldn't really. I mean, these two, we go all over the place. So every other day is a holiday for them. Um, we go to different locations, as you'll have seen. You know, go and watch um, different things. We went to the Iron Man down at uh, Snowdonia. That was interesting. Did a video on that. Um, we'll be going to lots of different places because it's great for them. As soon as you get there, I mean, we went to Kingsley Water Park the other day. As soon as we got there, what happened? These dogs were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't know which way to go because it was totally different smells. I mean, we come along here, obviously it's our regular walk and they're sort of used to the dog smells here because they smell the same dogs all the time. But, uh, they need different things like we do. I mean, no, we get bored walking around here. So off you go on your holidays, take your dogs, and they can all have a great time, and yourself. Yeah, I'll just keep nattering, even though you don't see the back of me. But yeah, I'm talking. Ah, uh, come on then. No, no, come on. Well, Skyler's having a bit of a snarl. You probably didn't hear that. Luna is only little, but she's awesome. What she does, she doesn't bite anybody or other dogs. She runs at them like a bulldozer and barges into them for some strange reason. Have you got a pug? Send us a comment. Do you know, does your pug do this? Because a lot of people tell me that pugs are like this. They go like a bulldozer and barge dogs. And I don't know why she does it. So, if you look up on our videos, you'll see a link here on the right. Love to hear from you. Tell us all about your dogs and your pugs especially. But any dogs, we love all dog breeds. You'll have seen them all on our videos. So, Skylar, He's having a brand new, tomorrow, I'm gonna to make her a brand new double amputee sling. One that comes off and is washable. I'll be showing you how I'm gonna make that. So if you have a double amputee dog, make sure to tune in and watch how I do it. And I do it for pennies. It doesn't cost much at all. So I want you to keep uh, keep on viewing and you're going to get some great tips. Uh, over the next, next week, I'm going to be showing you exactly what Skylar has to have every day. She has to have special tablets uh, to keep her um, from having urinary infections. Um, they both have top of the range shampoo and conditioner. We always condition them because it keeps their fur nice. Uh, any little dust mites and things in them, the conditioner will get it out. We use a comb then. But I'll be showing you all this. So these are things to look forward to in our next videos. Come on then. Come on then. Yeah. So, we're just going to um, carry on along the brook. We'll come into a little part in a minute where we turn her around. Otherwise, she'll carry on forever. Come on then. Come on. Oh, don't forget. Press the subscribe button if you want to hear everything I've got to say. Okay. 
Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Hello. Hello. Oh, we are. Hello, Luna. Here's some of the dogs' friends. Look. All the kids love them. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, Skylar's fan base. Yeah. Mum's come along and all. Look. See ya. <laughs> yeah. Luna. Luna. Oh, wait, that one's Luna. Luna's the uh, overexcited one. When you see her, she goes, growls at you, but she doesn't mean it hard. No, I know, yeah. Luna. Hey, Skylar. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Hey, you beautiful little girl. Yeah. Yeah, she barges all the dogs, she does. Look at her. She loves them. She loves dogs. Absolutely loves them. We've just got a kitten. You Have should, you? Yeah, you should see the way they are with that. I've got an old eye on top of No, I'm not getting old, but I feel it. It's a good <laughs> Such a young age, suffering with so many different problems. It's horrible. I feel like I should have a Zimmer frame already. Oh, stop it. Yeah, look at that, Sam. Oh. So I love all this animals. This was last I love night random. Well. The kids went to sleep and she decided to keep me away because she found a pig on the floor. <laughs> And she's just entertained herself. Uh, but he was entertaining me at the same time because he was hopping and skipping and jumping. Oh. Right, come on then. Yeah. Leave them to walk the dogs. See you, kids. Ta da! Bye, doggies. Bye. Bye. Mine, not bye, because we're going to Sam's house. Bye. See you soon. Ta da! See you in the morning. <laughs> yeah. These are the local kids. They come past every day and see Skylar. And Luna. Wait a minute. Shall I let her off a little bit? I'm going to let Luna off a little bit. She's jumping up and down like a rabbit. Come here. Come here. She's used to running about on her own down here. Come on then. Good girl. Come on then, we'll cut back round here. Good girl. Yeah. Oh, she's looking for squirrels. Oh, maybe for, there's a lot of foxes out at the moment. They've just had babies. Because, um, of course, in Thailand, that's what she hunted, foxes and squirrels. So she thinks she's back there now, down these woods. There ain't any for you to get, and you don't need them because you get lovely food now. That's obviously when she was hungry, when she was on the street. Come on, Luna. So, yeah, I think there's a couple of fox dens down here. Come on, then. <whistles> Luna. Come on. Let's go, then. Come on, then. Let's go. Oh, she does this now and again, gets a bit stubborn. Come on, then. We've got to go this way. Yeah? Not very often, but she does do it. Yeah, we're not looking in there all night. Come on then, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. See, even these dogs can play up. Come on, we're going. Come on. We're going, we're going. That's it, she's going. I got her. <laughs> just a gentle push with a wheelchair and she's off. There you go. She just wants to get in the bushes. Don't you? You want to get in the bushes, see what you can find? <laughs> and you also have to be careful with her because she was a street dog. When you're walking along, she sees anything, she'll start eating it. Well, of course, it might be something that she shouldn't be eating. So you've got to have your eyes on her all the time. Come on, then. Uh, there's a big sniff going on here. Yeah. Something very interesting there. Come on in, you two. Do you know what's amazing? I mean, she's in nettles at the moment, stingers. And I've always wondered, I'm going to look into this. How come? How come they don't sting their nose? They must have a, 
I don't know, a special thing where they don't get stung. Uh, and brambles, it don't bother them. So, here's a thought. Have a look into that. How come dogs don't get stung by nettles? Yeah, I'll have a look as well. And if I find out before you lot, I'll let you know in the next one. Come on then. It's quite fascinating. Isn't it? <laughs> Come on. Ah, uh, which way are you going? Going down here tonight. Come on then, quick, let's go. Come on then, quick. Oh, quick, it's cold here. There's no sun down here in the shade. I've gone a bit uh, nippy. Good girl. Yes. Yes, yeah, you can see a little track down there. She keeps trying to go down there. Well, of course, they've got to stop her because it doesn't go anywhere. It just goes straight down into the brook. Of course, she didn't know that. Come on, then. Come on, then. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, what a lovely night. Oh, that's better. I'm back in the sun now. I like that. Come on. Oh, it takes some time. The walk all round here. I mean, if you didn't stop sniffing, this would be about a 10 minute walk. But you can call it half an hour. By the time they've stopped and started. I've got to hang on to it tonight because I've got a bad ankle and if she starts going, I'll have to run to catch her. And uh, I can't. So tonight she stays on a lead. I normally let her off. You enjoying this girl? Yeah. She's never had it so good as she come down to us. Have ya? Good girl. Yeah, I can see she wants to motor. Look, she's trying to get going. I can't be running after her. Got a, you know, on our video the other day, if you tuned into that, we were driving along and only seconds before a tree had come down. And I was thinking when I got home, I mean, we got the dogs in the car, and I was thinking when I got home, that's something you could never avoid because you're never going to know when a tree's going to topple over. And uh, a few more, what, probably 30 seconds, and it could well have been on the car. And it was a big tree. So, it's funny, isn't it? Fate. We just didn't happen to be coming at that time when it fell. I don't know if you lot think about that. I do. All the time. What makes that happen? I had quite a few near misses. Yeah. Once again. Go up to the right hand corner. Community channel, send us all your comments, uh, anything you want to say. If you've got a story on your dog, we'll do it. You know, put it out there to the community. You might have funny stories or some that not so funny, or like that tree coming down and near miss. Or when your dog saved you. You know, when your dog saved you. Here you are. Here's a branch that's come down. There, I mean that one's not quite so big, but you know even that, if that fell on a on a little kid, or on your dog, it's going to hurt them, 
No, it's quite, it's quite substantial really, quite heavy. So they need to be looking at these trees and like clip them back a bit. Any overhanging branches. I mean, some of these have been here for a long, long time. You get a bit of a wind and they'll come down. Oh, I hope one don't come down while I'm talking about it. Hit me on the head. Never know, do you? I'm keeping away a bit. <laughs> Keep out the way from it. Yeah, be careful when there's a wind about while you buy uh, old trees because the branches can easily snap and you won't know when. Come on then. Another sniff stop, okay. Good girl. Come on then. Quick. Come on. Oh blimey, she's right into this one. There you are. I don't know what she found then, she's already at it. You've got to be so careful. I think it was just a little bit of bread. That's okay. Oh. Anyway, we're off home now. It's tea time. So, bye from Luna, bye from Skylar, bye from me. And all of you take care and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!